390 Wagon Master here. Today on the bench we have an ex a static Road Devil microphone. This is a great little microphone. However, this has got a little bit of uh, um, switch issues in here. It um, needs to be cleaned up. It's um, kind of blanking out my receive a little bit and interfering with it. So we just need to do a little bit of servicing with this. This is on a 5-pin Cobra, by the way. So uh, I was using this on my Cobra 2000 GTL. And when you just barely touch the switch here, it would... Uh, try to uh, blank out the receiver so we're gonna fix that or hopefully fix it so let's take this apart I have a screw that's stripped out here actually these two screws are stripped out we're just gonna take a screwdriver we're gonna open up this clamshell very carefully okay <laughs> uh, let's see here let's uh, cut power to it all right so here's what we've got here we have a, a mechanical PTT, push to talk switch here. And whether it's in a dirty environment um, or maybe an environment with a lot of moisture, sea air or whatever, you know, you'll get some corrosion in there. Uh, and then this, these switches will kind of go funky if you're not using them. Just literally just by not using them, you can have problems with them. So what I'm going to do is just clean that up a little bit. So let's put something down here so I don't get this all over my mat. All right, here's what I like to use. Um, let's see if I got my little spray thingy for it. Where is it? Okay. So I like to use Deox for the contact cleaner. A couple of my favorites are Deox Gold G5. I love this stuff. Yes, these are a little spendy. They're like 23 bucks a can, but it's they're well worth it. All right, well worth it. I used to be uh, very cautious in how much of this stuff I used. Um, now, quite honestly, after going through several cans of this stuff in my lifetime, I just use the crap out of it. I don't use it sparingly. And the reason why I don't do this at 23 bucks a can and you sit there and you use it sparingly year after year, I've actually had these cans go dead where they don't have any more air in them. However, there's still some fluid in there. So really, what did you save, right? Nothing. Okay, so Deox D5 and gold. Okay, and by the way, this works on a power mic or a uh, just a stock mic. Okay, I go up to uh, Wally World and I grab cans of this stuff. The CRC Electronic Cleaner. Now this stuff's like... $5.99 a can. Well, it was the last time I bought it, so it may have gone up. This stuff's on the cheap. And so what I like to do is I actually like to use this stuff to clean the dirt out of here. Once I work the dirt out of here, then I'll touch it up with some D5. Okay? And what this stuff does is this uh, continues the cleaning action, but like it says here, removes oxidation, improves connections, and it does seal and protect the surface. So it kind of gives you a little... Um, protective coating, so to speak, however, without attracting dirt, for the most part. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go in, what I like to do is I like to inspect, like, um, you know, obviously we have an in here, we can get some stuff in here, we might be able to squirt some in here, uh, back in here, there's a little seam right here. This is not going to hurt anything, neither of these, none of these products are going to hurt any electronics, but do have the battery out just in case. So we only have a couple points of entry here, but let's let's go for it. All right. And as we can see, as we're working that in mechanically, we have a little plunger back here. So let's squirt some in there. Sometimes I'll take these, if, if you have like a bunch of crud in there, I'll take these out to the garage and I'll spray them down with the air compressor as well. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll work a little bit of this in, hit it with some air while I'm doing this, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Okay. And like I say, this is just the cleaner.
we'll get some of that out. I just kind of blew it out. All right. And then let's take and uh, put a shot or two of some uh, D5 in here. I'll leave links to this stuff down below if you're new to this. Okay. My little enematizer unit here. And let's give this a squirt. And like I say, I'm... I uh, don't have a problem with putting a bunch of this stuff in. Like I say, it's spendy, but, you know, you figure this. You clean out a couple microphone switches, maybe a couple stereo knobs on your stereo. Maybe you've got a squelch control on one of your CBs or something that's making a lot of noise or a volume control. Pretty much once you fix a couple projects, your can's paid for. It's all in the bank at that point. So there you go. All right, what I'm going to do is... Before I put this puppy back together, or put power to it, because it's still got to kind of dry out, I'm going to plug it back into the radio and see if it cured that issue. Okay. Watch this. Problem solved. Look at that. Before I clean that, you would move that around and it would cut my receiver. Perfect, perfect. There you go. This puppy is done. Project completed, successful, successful repair. And let's just, uh, let's put her back together and we'll be good to go. Oh yeah, very nice, very, very nice. Okay. Just kind of blow out any residual stuff in there. Let's plug the, put the power uh, battery back in there and we'll put this puppy back together. What did I do here? Sometimes these can Fight you a little bit, but take your time. You'll get it. All right. Okay. I'll zuki one screw in there, and I will double check. Always double check. Doesn't hurt. Nothing more frustrating to get her all buttoned back up and then something's still wrong with it. So let's just throw one in there, real quick. Plug it back into the radio. Oh yeah, a lot of big radios in there today. Making no She's working now. Very good. There you go. That is how I clean a dirty push-to-talk switch on a CB radio microphone. I'll leave links to these down below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already okay, done so, and thanks for watching. Cheers!